<laughs> Welcome back to the wild, it's Cypress. And as you've already deduced from the title and thumbnail, I had a late night date with online shopping. And thread up charmed the pants off me, apparently. So let's talk handbags. There are four bags in these boxes, arranging in retail value from about $40 to $300, according to ThreadUp's listings. Now, if you wish to skip ahead to specific bags, I will have timestamps available below. But to start, I wanna offer a little context so you can share in my, I hope, triumph with me as I meet my new handbags. Okay, I have only ever had one everyday handbag at a time. Not by design. I'm just very picky and I prefer to thrift when I can. And in places like Goodwill, it's rare for me to find a bag I like that is also in good shape. That is also the right size. I have a bunch of bags that are either good for a minimalist jaunt or an overnight adventure. They stay in great shape because I rarely have a cause to use them. But a bag like this that is gorgeous and ergonomic and the Goldilocks size, I'll use the heck out of it until it's ratty and frankly, embarrassing. One of my problems, of course, is that cheap bags don't survive long. Vegan leathers are a great idea, but the materials aren't there yet. Not in my price range. They just disintegrate. Well, after my last embarrassing grocery four-way, having to pull my wallet out of this embarrassing sad sack, I just decided to find a bag on Amazon, but I wasn't finding anything I like, and I just know everything I was looking at was made in sweatshops. It was getting frustrating. But then I remembered that there are online retailers other than Amazon. Duh. So I pulled my brain out of my ass and Google handbags. Simple. And one of the very first links was for thread up. Hey, I've heard of them. That's online thrifting. I get on there non-committally to check their site out and whammo! They seduce me with fair prices and up to half off for first time orders and free shipping for orders over $80. No, this is not sponsored. This is just me getting excited about shopping. The final straw was that I was finding bags that I liked. So here we are a week later, the bags are here, and we get to meet them. Also, this order is a bit of a test for me to see if in the future Thread Up is somewhere that I should shop. <laughs> the tissue paper's polka dotted. <laughs> That's cute. Oh, we're gonna start big, okay. This is the DKNY bag that should retail for $2.98, and I paid a grand total of $24.99. Okay, we do have one little scuff here, but I did specifically look for either like new or with minimal wear. I did not need it to be perfect. Okay, it is the exact size, that, that Goldilocks size. <laughs> I was worried it was gonna be a little smaller. The shape made it look like it might be a little big. Okay. If it matters, I have absolutely no familiarity with any of these brands until today. It's a nice solid zipper. I have never in my life had an adult handbag, as I would call it. Everything I've had has been um, plastic coated. It hasn't been real leather. So this is a new thing for me. I love this detail. I wonder what this is for. Just for looks? It's cute. Cool. There we go. 
Okay, phone fits right there. <laughs> oh, oh, I wasn't planning on the green one being my main every day, but if it matches my wallet, I may become a green purse every day kind of a gal. That's hilarious. I love this stainless steel hardware. The color is this really nice mossy, rich mossy green. Okay, DKNY, so far I am impressed. All right, so that's DKNY. Uh, absolutely pristine condition. There was one little scuff on the back side. At that kind of a discount, I mean, that might as well be brand new for me. So, um, walking around, I'm not a label shopper, but just knowing that this is actually retailed at $300, one, I'm gonna be scared it's gonna disappear. <laughs> uh, and two, I'm gonna feel really expensive walking around. I might get used to this. Next box. Ooh, ooh. Now we got a sticker here. Careful where I'm cutting, I don't know. Ooh, we've got bubble wrap in here. Little letter about how to spread the word about thread up. <laughs> I'm making a video, I guess that is spreading the word. This is a Tignanello leather shoulder satchel. It is leather. Tignanello. Like I said, I don't know any of these brand names. There's a couple dots, spots on the bottom, but other than that, it looks very clean. There's a little bit of wear up here. This one retails for $88 and I got it for 15. Ooh, I like the inside. It's a dark, color. Sorry, I'm getting distracted. I'm forgetting that you're watching with me because I'm so wanting to look at these bags. Hmm, I can't imagine why I would pick out an orange bag. <laughs> Great size, big enough for all my stuff. Yeah, the, the green doesn't look too bad with the orange either. Nice big pocket I can get my phone in. Oh, and there's a couple really big pockets on the side here. Maybe like for, is that for a water bottle? What is that for? You wouldn't want to put anything here that might flip out, but I'll bet a phone would sit. Yeah? Not bad, okay. It's real leather and it's in good enough shape that I could have bought it myself new, but it's definitely been loved on. Definitely happy with this one too. Where am I putting these? Okay, and then the other Tignanello bag is this wonderful dark turquoise. This is pretty much my favorite color for a handbag. So this must be the front. Oh, that color. Oh, the, the clasp is magnetic. I'm so not organized. I'm so freaking excited about <laughs> opening these boxes. This one retails for $169, according to ThreadUp, and I got it for, I don't remember what discount I got. It was listed at $47.99. Uh, this one is in better shape than the other one. It's clearly been used, like it's not new, but there's no marks of wear on it. Lots of room on the shoulder. What are you doing in that box, little man? Yeah? Did you find a nice little place to hang out? Yeah. Oh my goodness. These bags are all so nicely designed on the inside. This one has a zipper on the inside, a zippered pouch for things that you want to close off. Two zippered pouches and little 
stainless steel toes on it so that it gets less scuffed. So this is another contender for my absolute favorite bag of the haul. I've got to get to the box that's underneath you. Can I get the box underneath you? Yeah? Oh, you're so sweet. Let me move this a little bit. All right, last bag. This is going to be Marka Ivana. They estimated the retail value at $37. It was listed at $21.99. I got it for less than that. Okay, I'm getting too excited. Ripping through my tissue paper. <laughs> Actually, bubble wrap in the bag. I would call this camel rather than orange, although camel is orange. Snap closure, a large pocket two major pockets and then a sub pocket. We got all kinds of pockets and we've got the side pocket things that the other bag did. This one actually reminds me so much of the bags like my mother would have had when she was young. It's very a 70s kind of feel to me. Just initial comparisons. I think the hardware on this bag is less expensive, less um, sturdy. And I almost think the, the fabric inside the bag might be of a slightly lesser quality, uh, but I really don't know what I'm looking at here. These are all four of them. <laughs> oh, look at these colors, it's so pretty. I'm gonna have to display them somewhere. This is just gorgeous. <laughs> A bouquet of handbags. Mmm. So anyway, $300, almost $200, about $90, I think, and about $40. So we have quite a range here. I don't know enough about quality, decent handbags as like, hello, it's going everywhere. I don't actually know enough to say much about the variation in quality. I'm going to be very happy to be trying these different bags out and using them and getting used to them and seeing what I think about the quality versus the initial price. Let's, mmm, <laughs> which one's your favorite? Favorite color, favorite style? This is gonna be, I. this is an embarrassment of very usable handbags. I don't, I'm not gonna know what to do with myself. So final thoughts on ThreadUp as a first time shopper. The site is easy to navigate. The colors seem to be very true to life, at least on my monitor. The images of the products were very good. They were high resolution, clear. I would have liked more. They only had a picture of the front of the bag and the back of the bag. One on a mannequin in situ, which was a very useful image, but I would have liked close-ups of whatever damage that they had, and I would have liked an image of the inside of the bag so you could see how it was organized. But considering it's a thrift retailer, it's a very professional setup. Um, the only complaint, and I don't even know if it's a complaint that I have so far, I originally ordered five bags. I also ordered a B. Mikowski satchel, and when they went to fill my order, they either didn't have it in stock or it was damaged in a way they weren't aware of before. They didn't give me a lot of information, but they did immediately refund me. So I don't know how I feel about that. Ordering something, getting excited about it, and then it disappearing, it's just a weird feeling. And my neurotic side starts thinking, well, they just didn't want me to have that good of a deal. Probably somebody stole it off the shelf is probably what happened. So I don't know what else to say. I am just sort of reeling from this gratuitous, gluttony embarrassment of quality handbags. I'm gonna have to learn how to take care of leather, actually. The last time I had anything made out of leather, it was a saddle. <laughs> um, what do you think? Are you familiar with ThreadUp? Do you shop on ThreadUp? What do you think of ThreadUp? Based on this experience, I will probably go back to ThreadUp. So I don't know what else to say. I'm. Gonna have to go um, have a 
a little happy party with these. I don't even know what that means. So I'm gonna call this a success. They're in great shape. I can't believe I found so many gorgeous bags that I actually like aesthetically all in one place and for reasonable prices, especially since I had that discount for first time orders. So that's my first ever handbag haul. Thanks for sharing this exciting and gluttonous thrift shopping adventure with me. And until the next video, keep your thrifting wild. Thread up champ. All right, where is my, what did I do with my blade? I got so excited. Oh. Foot cramp, foot cramp. Oh. Oh. Why is my foot cramping? OMG, where's my blade? Just initial impression, impressions comparing the bags. Just a nut. Now I gotta find my knife again because I got excited and lost my knife. Last time I had anything made out of leather. I lost my blade. In the excitement, we almost lost our knife. Um, 